Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today we are going to be experimenting with a matrix public space. This is like a Discord server matrix public space. And uh, basically our primary objective here is to get you started with the client that I'm using and kind of uh, wet your feet into the matrix messaging protocol is a broad decentralized system that's going to allow you to uh, to get in there and uh, and have a variety of different ways to interact with people on a variety of different platforms a variety of different apps and today we're going to talk about how you can find our community that you can interact with that I'm going to show you uh, the element application which is the one that I tend to use inside of this and uh, maybe we'll do more in the future now I don't know if we're going to keep the server exactly where we have it on matrix.org or if we are going to self-host our own synapse. I just don't know yet. Uh, I'm still thinking about that. I'm also still thinking about whether or not we should try to relaunch a Discord server, understanding that the first one was nuked because apparently I engage in truthful wrong think. Um, but that is the case. But uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, go ahead and set up an account on Matrix and um, mostly how to log into an account on Element. On Matrix, just head on over to Matrix or you can do it through Element or through anything else, any other Matrix protocol. Uh, the one exception that I found is, in theory, the new version of Thunderbird does actually have Matrix chatting capabilities, but I have not been able to get that to work. I'll go ahead and continue playing with that, and if I figure it out, we'll do another video on that. But for now, let's head on over to the desktop, and we're going to show you how to set up Element and a few things you want to keep in mind. So here we'll get into what is Matrix, trying it, and what I'm personally using. So Matrix is an open network for secure, decentralized communication. Uh, right now, again, I am debating, do I want to just use Matrix.org or do I want to host my own server? For now, we're just going to go ahead and um, uh, keep it on Matrix.org while we uh, are in our experimental uh, discovery phase here. Uh, but there's a lot of documentation over here. If you hit the Try Now button, it will take us to a variety of places. Element is going to be the place that I like. There is a uh, web version, a desktop, uh, mobile apps, all sorts of things. And then there's Quadernation, Neko, Fractal, WeChat. There's some Element for iOS. And then there's just a lot of extra things over here to try things out on. Uh, apparently, there's a Matrix Watch. Okay, that's fascinating. Um, but there's a lot of different places where we can uh, we can use it. So um, this is if you're using the uh, if you're using the web application app.element.io, you'll come over here and then you'll have the ability to explore rooms, create an account, and sign in. And uh, you will first be asked um, if you want to use persistent storage. That's going to prevent you from having to. Uh, verify your account with a uh, some form of encryption keys or uh, other means of verifying your account. Um, so depending on your level of privacy or security, you can do that. As far as downloading Element, uh, they do have official apps on the Apple Store and on Google Play Store. For those of us that are uh, avoid those two places like the devils they are, we do have the option on F-Droid as well. You do have a Mac, a 64 and 32-bit Windows options, and there are several Linux options. Um, you can, on uh, Debian and Ubuntu, you can just add an extra repository here and install it. So if you want to do a full install option, you have that. I personally am using the Flatpak. On Arch, there's a community build, and then there's Alpine, OpenSUSE, and Nix OS as well. Uh, a word about the flat pack, if you are going with that option, searching for the term element will not bring up the flat pack. Um, I have no idea why, but at one point in time, they changed it, the back end label from element to riot. So you actually have to search it up as riot. Why? I don't know. Uh, but if you are interested in using the flat pack version hosted on uh, Flathub, then you will have to search your flat pack for riot, not element. So with that, I have this uh, over here installed as the client here. You can 
create an account or you can sign in. Now, if you sign in and you do not have a way to share your uh, keys, then it's going to reset everything. And here is the downside that gets in most people's way using this. If you do not have a way to back up your keys, then it's going to reset everything and you will lose all previous communication. This is actually a good thing because it means that, yes, the information here is actually being stored securely. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to log in with my uh, account that I created for web design slash uh, testing the server out without using my main system. So give me a moment here to type in my absolutely insane password manually. I'll uh, be back here in a moment. Okay, hit our sign in button there and now you'll see it'll say it's syncing. Now it says verify this device. If we have some other account logged in, then we can verify with that device. It's going to give us um, a series, uh, what might be look, looking like a, a Winter Soldier reprogram code, you know, a series of things like Duck Computer, Bob, you know, just a string of words you have to verify on both devices. Um, option, other options. Uh, so if I actually had set up a keys for this, you'll have an option by a passphrase or a key. So since I do not have any other active device, I'm going to have to use the reset all option. We have to proceed with the reset option. Now it gives me the option to generate a secure key. So this is a key file that you can use to keep some somewhere safe or a security phrase that you can use. And um, no matter which one, if you do not want to do this, just hit cancel. But every single time you have to log in again, it's going to force you to reset everything. So we can do um, we can do a, a key file or whatever else. So you can see what it is right here. And of course, um, I am not going to show you what that is. This is going to be edited so I can copy it or I can download it. I'm just going to go ahead and download this to my desktop and uh, save it for later. And I'm not going to open that file up because you can't see it. All right. So now I have that security key. Anytime now I want to log in on a different, uh, on a different application, then I'll go ahead and be able to, uh, to do that um, with just with that key file and with the content of that file, which is a series of string of characters. So once we are in over here, you will have your home option where you'll have any people you are connected to. So if I want to start a conversation with somebody, I need to know where they're at. Of course, my main one is at switched to Linux. There we have it. So I'm right there. And um, I'm going to actually go and look at one more thing here because this is actually somewhat of a mystery. You can see that, uh, let's see, switched to Linux... There's actually a Discord here, um, which that might be the old Discord server that was uh, that was killed um, because Discord uh, decided I engaged in wrong think at one point in time. So uh, this is me. This is the one here. Let's hit go, and then uh, let's we have unverified sessions. Let's review unverified sessions. Uh, these are sessions as I was testing this out on the web browser, and it's going to show us what some of the other sessions are here in theory. Uh, it should set things up over here. And then what I'll be able to do is just kick all those guys off, uh, whatever else. So you'll see extra things inside of here. All right, let's go ahead and click out of here. I thought that was going to do something else there. All right, so let's see. Did uh, that send the request over? I don't see it sending over. There it is. Okay, so send your first message. Hello. Whoop. We're cr so now what it's doing is it's creating a room, and that creates a room with Switch to Linux. Now, if I head on over to the other computer, which you can't see, I have an invite tab, which is sitting above my peoples, and when I go ahead and hit start chatting, then... It will now be joined, and we can see that Switch to Linux has now joined this room, and I can say hi back. So I can see I'm typing, hit enter, and now it says hi. So now we can establish our room, and I'm always going to be under the people section. Now, if you want to join extra rooms, then you will want to enter rooms. 
So here is the one problem that I have found. For whatever reason, our switch to Linux room is not actually showing up in um, in this room. Um, why I'm not sure um, why it's not showing up. It just gives you the option to create a new one, which will probably fail because the room is already created and we have been testing it for about a week now. So what you are going to, to need to do is probably just use the link, which is going to be down below. And I will go ahead and put it here on the website here as well. I'm going to go ahead and have a link for this down below. So what we're going to do is it's going to be matrix.2 forward slash hash. And that tells you you're opening up a matrix protocol and then you're going to go um, another forward slash hash switch to Linux colon matrix.org. Click this in here. It says preview this link using matrix home server and we'll hit uh, continue. And now um, it's going to give you the option of things to use. We'll go ahead and hit continue over here. And we'll go ahead and sit, hit our open link. This is going to send you right on over. And now you can join the room. I'm going to reach out to Matrix and figure out why I am not um, inside of here. Um, but what we are going to see here is uh, once I am in here, then there's a series of suggested rooms. So I can go ahead and join each of the individual rooms inside of the server. So let's go ahead and join the discussion. We'll join the discussion. Now this is one of the downsides of the matrix protocol. Each room you have to join separately. So that is, uh, that is good. All right, so the last room is going to be down here. You can see I'm on view, view, view. So when you're on a room view over here, you can go ahead and uh, do that. And then now I will be over here. So now I can see what everything has been mentioned inside of each of the rooms. Now, when you are using this, uh, I'm not sure how the calling functions uh, work inside of the the rooms, but you do have the option on your individual people. You can do an encrypted call, encrypted video call, um, and then you can set notifications specific for each individual room. So you can set each of these uh, each of these guys separately. I'm going to expand this a larger in size there for you. Up here, you have your settings. Uh, we have a variety of settings. We have our security and privacy. Uh, which has the information that you have inside of your your settings here. Um, you can go ahead and uh, uh, put any information that you want or don't want inside of there. Your appearances, you can match your system theme. You can go light, you can go dark, whatever that happens to be. And then you have the uh, sizes of um, uh, message layout. You have your font size over here. And then um, there's image sizes, things like this. Do you want images large or this simple size? You do have some global notifications as well inside of here and then some individual preferences. Uh, so you can flip through all those guys. And then here's voice and video calls. You can set everything up there. And then again, the security and privacy is gonna have some things that I'm not gonna want you to see because this is a live account. Everything else is publicly available info. So if you need a website, you can find me over there on Western MTN Web, although I can say I'm probably not going to be logged into that a whole lot. <laughs> Send it to switch to Linux instead. Uh, but you can find me over there um, on Matrix, and um, uh, you can find the switch to Linux community room. We are still in the testing phase of the room. We might move it to my own self-hosted server uh, down the road and uh, check the link um, in the description or um, I'll, by the time this video is up, I'll go ahead and have a, um, a link on the footer of the website, which has the link to open up your um, matrix channel to find the channel. But this is a brief overview of the Element app, the places where you can get it and all of those other factors. And uh, come on over and join us for our discussions inside of the Linux communities. And uh, it is unknown to me whether or not I am going to recreate the Discord server or not. I just don't know. We've been booted off once for wrong think, but uh, we'll see what happens. With that, though, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.
Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash t-o-m-m or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.